So today I'm going to show you two furniture distressing techniques on two identical pieces of furniture that I recently built from scrap wood for a friend of mine. The first technique is the technique that I used on the farmhouse pantry door. It comprises of wood stain wiped on a painted surface and then wiped off with a rag until you get the look that you're after. The second technique involves some cream wax. This is a popular technique that's used when you're using chalk paint. So on both techniques, I'm going to use the same process. I'm going to use a chip brush. I'm going to brush it on. I'm going to leave it on for five, 10 minutes, and then I'm going to wipe it off until I get the desired look that I want to get. So both console tables were made from scrap two by fours and two by sixes I had laying around the shop. I painted each console table with one coat of cheap semi-gloss white paint. I like to use semi-gloss paint when distressing furniture because it doesn't absorb stain or wax as much as flat or mott paint. If I used flat paint, I would not apply the stain to the painted surface as I'm doing here because it would be very, very difficult to wipe off. Instead, I would wipe it on with a rag very cautiously. I applied the gray stain with a chip brush in sections in order to prevent the stain from drying, which makes it difficult to remove. The gray stain produces an antique and vintage look that blends well with farmhouse decor. Any color stain works. It just depends on your style preference. For example, I've used light blue and coral stain to distress furniture for a coastal beach look. Next, I used a shop rag to wipe the stain. Regardless of how much you wipe, some stain will absorb into the paint. It's also very difficult to remove the stain from the seams, corners, and other hard to reach places, which is a good thing. It makes it appear as if it were naturally distressed. As I mentioned earlier, the semi-gloss paint really allows me to control the distressed look and work much faster. Once I achieved the look I was after, I just moved to the next section and repeated the process. All right, so this is looking good. Only thing is, is I'm gonna, I wanna darken up the top a little bit more. I think I wiped that a little bit too soon. So all I'm gonna do is put a little bit more stain up here. And just let it sit for a few minutes not as long as I did the first time but this is just gonna add a bit more to this it's also very helpful to have two or three rags on hand as they get soaked with stain pretty quickly you may have to change out a rag about halfway through depending upon the distress look that you're after for the second technique I use the same process as the first technique but with furniture wax instead of stain the furniture wax definitely dries quicker and blends more in the paint than stain. At first, I didn't think I was going to really like this look, but the more I worked, the better it looked. I forgot to mention, this wax is often used with chalk paint, but it also works on raw wood or painted surfaces. I think this may be a little bit easier doing it with my hands. I don't know what made me just think of that, but this brush is, I just feel like I'm working a lot harder than what I need to. Once I started using my hand instead of the chip brush, this technique was just as fast, if not faster, than the first technique using wood stain. As I stated earlier, it's really important to work in smaller sections when using this type of wax because it dries very quickly as compared to wood stain. And the same goes for this technique. Be sure to have a few rags available. The wax quickly saturates the rags, which makes it harder to remove the stain from the painted surface. Ultimately, both furniture distressing techniques produced some pretty awesome results. The wax produced a more distressed look and took a bit more elbow grease to complete. The stain was a bit easier to apply and produced a more subtle distress finish. Also, the stain goes a very long way. I could probably distress 15 to 20 console tables with one can of stain. The 32 ounce can of stain was roughly $16. 
I used the entire can of wax for the console table, and this can was roughly $10. So it was a bit more expensive than the wood stain. But ultimately, they both turned out very well. So I think that my battery in my camera died, or uh, I didn't hit the record button properly, but I forgot to record the uh, protective coat that I put on each console table. I used uh, polycrylic that comes in a spray can. I put three coats on each console table as a protective finish. All right, that's a wrap. I hope this video provided you with some value. And if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on my blog or in the comments down below.